Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. It is Tuesday, March 21st. I just did a reading on um, uh, the indictments that did not happen today, at least so far. Um, and one of the things that might have been Morning Joe I was watching, and there was some implication by Donald Trump that Ron DeSantis molested a teenage boy. Now, when I went, I just went now looking for that for that quote, and I can't find it anywhere. So uh, that may not be an accurate uh, bit of information, uh, again, for entertainment purposes only. What I can at least find is that um, on Newsweek, there was a post that Trump had on his true social website, which has been deleted, that said Ron DeSantis will probably find out about this sometime in the future when he's unfairly and illegally attacked by a woman, or possibly a man, with false accusations. So <laughs> Donald Trump thinks that, what, Stormy Daniels is accusing him falsely? Okay. But, you know, interesting how he throws that man thing in there, which makes me think that that other quote about uh, uh, DeSantis and a teenage boy might be an accurate quote, and that's the, the little powder keg that he's been waiting to uncork on Ron DeSantis on potential uh, primary voters for the GOP. Okay, now, that being said, what I want to find out is... Um, how is this, uh, is, is Trump going to blackmail Ron DeSantis with information about, well, maybe not Tom Liston, just what's, what's Trump going to blackmail DeSantis with? Right? Maybe that will get a general feel for how this is going or what's his little surprise that he's got going on. Okay, it's, it's involves the election. It's going to involve the election. Now, <laughs> forgive me for those of us who are raised Catholic. What's one of the biggest scandals that's happening with the Catholic Church right at the moment, right? The star card. Now, in my last reading, I was, I was you know, uh, Will, you know, the, the indictment was delayed. I pulled up the star card. It's like, you know, what was that? Duh. <laughs> Stormy Daniels is what? <laughs> okay, so I think if this is about the election. This is about Stormy Daniels. There's the chariot card again, and the emperor. Wow, you know, you've got four major arcana. And then a fifth one, the strength card underneath. Okay, so what's happening here? Um, he had, it, so basically I was asking, you know, what is Trump going to uncork? Okay, it's gonna be, it's about government. And again, when I think of like religion, and forgive me for this, but there's been a lot of molestation cases involving the Catholic Church. I just watched a video today that um, I believe the Santa Rosa uh, Diocese, uh, Catholic Church in Santa Rosa just filed for bankruptcy, another one in Oakland, and it's all about sex scandals with uh, priests or clergy molesting children. And um, the chariot card had come up with the, uh, with the indictment. So, I think the election's moving forward. This information that he has, he's not going to hold it back. He's going to let loose on it. And it's it's going to be related to like the Stormy Daniel thing. So whereas Trump was revealed to have had an affair or you know, a sexual encounter with, um, with a, a porn star, he's going to reveal a sexual encounter that um, Ron DeSantis had. And we've got the emperor. So this is going to be... You know, you can think of the emperor like a father figure, somebody who's much older, a position of power. So if it wouldn't surprise me if it's a story about him molesting, uh, molesting a child or a teenager, as this case may be. Or, you know, it could even be somebody who's a young adult. He could be 18 years old, but still, an 18-year-old is still a teenager. And underneath is the strength card. It's... Um, it's going to require a lot of strength. This is this is, this is basically going to be really ugly business. Whatever he's about to uncork on Ron DeSantis, it's going to be ugly, and it might very well derail his opportunity to uh, to uh, maintain a uh, a, can a viable candidacy for the uh, the twenty twenty four election for entertainment purposes only. If and when Trump releases this information, 
will what will happen with Ron DeSantis? So it's whatever he's got is huge, and it's going to really shake DeSantis right to his core. Will this induce DeSantis' card want to pop up? Uh, making plans, you know, in some ways it's like the world was mine and I don't have it anymore. There's that star card again, Queen of Pentacles, and then we've got the Four of Wands, and underneath it is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so when Trump releases this information, what's going to happen? Um, again, the, 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 the vibe I was getting from this was that, you know, this is about making plans. <clears throat> but I think what's happening here is that the plans he made are not going to come to fruition because the money that he was going to count on to get him through the election is gone. And now he's on, you know, underneath it is, uh, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is usually a nice card. It's, I consider it to be like a grandmother card or a mother card with a baby on her lap. But I think what's happened, or even pregnancy in a way, I think that... Um, when it, if it gets released, it impacts his ability to raise money and even maintain what uh, what viability he had. He was a rising star. And then we have the wedding card, which is usually, um, you know, if I'm completely wrong on this, he gets the nomination. But I, this one was coming up upside down. And so instead of the wedding card and people welcoming you, you could think of it as people waving goodbye to you as the door hits you on the butt on the way out. So I think he thought he was going to be a star, but instead he's lost everything. He's lost everything because of this revelation. And um, I just want to throw a clarifier real quick on that, um, that four of wands. I'm going to move these cards off to the side. Maybe I'll shuffle these up a little bit here. Just can I get some clarification on that four of wands? Is that really a, you know, <laughs> see you later alligator? You're done. Let's see. The lovers. Ooh. Judgment. Ouch. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. And then <laughs> the the Page of Cups. Ew. Okay. Ew, ew, ew. This is like, you know, young person. There's judgment involved with it. Lovers. And it's going to cost them money. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if this rumor were true. Because you think about Trump has, he has compromise on lots of people, which is why he's able to get away with a lot of stuff and get people to do the things he wants them to do because he blackmails them. And you think of uh, David Pecker and the, uh, you know, the um, National Enquirer. He had, he had that army helping him out. It's a page right out of uh, Putin's playbook of blackmailing people and getting them. The Russians do all the time. That's how they get Americans to turn against their country. They come up with blackmail and then just get you to do the things they want to do. And if you don't do it, well, they're going to release the blackmail. So uh, does Trump have something on DeSatan? <laughs> DeSatan, Don Ron DeSantis? Yeah, he probably does. Is he going to release it? Yeah, he's going to release it. Is it going to send Ron DeSantis' campaign sideways? Yeah, it's going to send it sideways. Is it going to kill it? Yeah, it's going to kill it. So that's my take on it, at least the way I interpret the cards. You may interpret them differently, but I would not be excited by this at this point, nor would I be necessarily worried about DeSantis getting the nomination. Okay, so anyways, that's my take for, informa for information only, for entertainment purposes only. Uh, go ahead, give the channel a uh, like, thumbs up, throw some comments out there, and I'll catch you on the next video. Have a great night.